I'm Julia Morton, now on October 6, 2007. Artist David Hochbaum curated a one-night private salon and crowded the walls with more than a hundred images, many of them narrative. Storytelling was one of painting's original functions. Now artists are reviving the long-ignored genre in order to describe contemporary life and create stories of their own. Though underground salons lack the prestige of big art, the affordability of the work and the lack of sales hype have allowed the general public back into the art game, encouraged critical debate, and inspired active collecting. the Deitch Gallery on Wooster Street, Bianca Cassidy has simulated her own salon by hanging her many art styles together. Her work is a kind of visual memoir, a coming-of-age story that investigates the family, race, religion, the seductive subversion of kiddie consumerism, and the mass marketing of morality. Using collaged photos, magazines, and paintings, Cassidy creates a visual mixture that allows us to better explore mixed messages. Strewn along the other side of the gallery, her installation was a scattered mess of lost objects. It features a throne trashed in toys and surrounded by macho clutter. It's a portrait of sorts, a B-movie set littered with clues to help you picture the missing person. At the Deitch Gallery on Grand Street, Mike Gansky offers two bodies of work, both done in his signature style, which at first glance appears to be airbrushed or printed, but is in fact created by meticulously applying layers of near transparent paint. The atmospheric effect highlights his contemporary tales of paradise lost, the doomed town, drowning car, and bewildered couple each suggest a number of current issues. Gansky's second series consists of beautifully rendered zombie-like portraits, whose subjects appear to have been lit by a distant nuclear blast. Our society and culture, he says, have gone through so many radical changes, it's ridiculous painting has stayed so static. Gansky, like the others, is leaving the established path to search for new ways to tell his own unique story. I'm Julia Morton. This is now on October 6, 2007. Thank you for watching.